Hi guys, it's Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the tutorial that I'm wearing right now. I'll zoom right in. It looks just like this. The main eyeshadow I used was a NARS. It's like this and it's a really nice gray kind of purple color. This is a limited edition one. It's called Laza. I'm pretty sure it's still available at Sephora. If not, you can also get it at... Um, Halt Renfrew, which is actually where I bought it because Sephora was sold out of this, but they did carry out a Halt Renfrew. So yeah, that's where I got that. So I hope you guys keep watching the tutorial and leave any comments or questions below and I'll get back to you guys. Bye. So the first thing I did was prime my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion and then I just went, went in with uh, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and that is just all over my eye just as a base to just make my other color just appear more vibrant. First I'm going to go in with um, crease color. I'm using soft brown. It's by MAC. I just want this to be a really uh, subtle transition color from the darker color I'm going to put on my lid. If I wanted to make it a smoky eye, like a really smoky eye, I would have put the color all over my lid and then this crease color would have made it darker but I want to make it more of an everyday smoky look so I'm just adding in a subtle brown. Next, I'm grabbing an eyeshadow brush, just like this, and I'm going in with the main color, which is by NARS, and it's called Laza, or Lahaza. I just say Laza, though. The gorgeous, uh, like, purple gray color, sort of like on the taupe side, I think. It's really pretty. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a um, darker kind of crease color. This is a Patina by MAC. I'm going to grab it on the same blending kind of brush that I used. Now this color I'm just going to add in the crease. Next, I'm going in with a highlight color. I'm using a Brulee by uh, Wet n Wild. I'm just putting that on my eyebrow, brow bone. Under that I have on some of the milk pencil just to make the color pop a little bit. On the inner corner I'm going in with Estee Lauder Porcelain Matte Eyeshadow. It's just a cream vanilla kind of color. Next I'm going in with uh, Aqua Liner by Makeup Forever. It looks like this. It's in black. Well it's the number 13. Hi guys, I'm back with the finished look and all I did was align my eyes, applied mascara. I used my Highlands mascara. For a liner, I used my Makeup Forever um, Aqua Liner. This one is a number 13, which is just the regular black one. And that's about, for lips actually, I put on my Lipstick in Innocence Beware. It's a cream sheen. This was one of the collections from the Disney one, I think, Disney Villains. But I know it was re-promoted recently. Um, not sure which collection, but really recently. So you might still be able to get this one. Or just any nude lipstick would be perfect. And then I went over with NARS Turkish Delight. For my foundation, I just used a little bit of Estee Lauder's Double Wear Foundation. And then I went over with NYX Blush in Tea Rose. And then just to set my foundation a little bit, I just went over with Blu-ray powder just with a powder brush. I just patted it into my skin so it just my foundation will last longer. For blush, I use NARS in Dowser. NARS in Dowser. And then I use I did a little bit of contouring today, something I don't usually do, but I just decided to bronze a little bit. And I just used my NYC New York Color in 720C Sunny. And I just set my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow thing, Anastasia Brow Gel. Just the gel, I didn't fill it in or anything, I just put some brow gel just to hold them in place. And that's about it. So I'm going to zoom in really quickly to the eyes. And that's what they look like. I really hope you guys can see that. It's clear. 
this tutorial was really simple kind of smoky eye if you would like to see the same eyeshadow in more of a, like a dramatic kind of look just let me know below and i'll do that so i hope you guys enjoyed that and i'll talk to you guys soon bye